Hey, how you doing? Okay, this video is in response to a discussion happening over on the TGIT Revit Telegram channel. Fuez posted a problem and there's been some discussion there with uh, Akram Hugo. Uh, talking about how to best uh, deal with the scenario where you've got a floor slab that penetrates through the wall structure. Okay, so you've got the, the wall finish in front of the slab and how to best do that uh, and keep the continuity of the finishes and so on. Look, I'll get straight into it, but it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting little scenario, and hopefully this is the answer to the question, okay? All right, enjoy. Right, we've got our walls, okay, on two levels, and they're separated by the what will be the floor slab, okay? So I'm not going to get into construction methods. This is a question, as I said, from the lads on Telegram uh, in a different region. So what do we do? So we want to have a seamless finish in the front, uh over the where the render or the, the the finish of the wall is uh but we want to bring the slab through okay there's a couple of methods to doing this and some of them are no good okay uh first what i would do is we put the slab in now i've, I've exaggerated the, the wall finish the the render let's say uh so you can see it i made it blue okay and i'm going to do the same with the, the, the floor slab so i go into the uh first floor view and put in the slab okay I'm going to pick walls, okay, and I'm going to extend into core, okay, so then I'm going to come past the finish into the core line, and I'm going to the outside of the core, okay, that's it, and uh, this is just a 250 mil slab, okay, okay, so if I look at that in section, there's our slab, and we have a problem here because we have a gap, so how do we address this, how do we have a clean finish, uh, with having the slab in the right place and the concrete or whatever that is for the wall in the right place and so on. Okay, you might be inclined to interfere with the the, the wall, but that'd be a mistake. I'll show you quickly what I mean by interfere with the wall so that you can then not do it. Okay, so select the wall. I should say really modify the wall. Uh, edit, uh, edit the structure. You need the preview open on section. So preview and section. We'll scroll into the bottom and I click on modify. Okay. And I'll find that layer, which is the, the render, uh, at the very bottom of the wall, and I click it. And there's a little padlock. If I can uncheck that padlock, now that's unlocked. I can pull it down. Okay. So if I click OK and OK, I can now pull that down. And the settings are in here as well. I can see minus 250 for base extension distance. And that looks okay initially. But it doesn't work, okay? If you do this, you're going to have problems, and they don't always manifest manifest straight away. So you can have it later on, uh, where you, you, your plan views don't look right at the corners and junctions and stuff. So I just recommend you don't do it, okay? Uh, might work for you for a quick fix, but I, I, I suggest it'll give you more problems than it's worth. Right, so let's do it my way, okay? So uh, I've got my lower floor walls coming up to the soffit, right? So top constraint soffit and i have the one above coming from the first floor okay so uh, let's do it in 3d okay so i should have undone that modify anyway uh 3d i'm going to select all the walls at first floor and i'm going to adjust the base constraint from first floor down to soffit okay now if we go back into my section or i could do it here in 3d with the section box here we have it okay so now our wall is passing through the slab all right now our slab as long as it's the uh, structural material we can do this join and uh, never mind that click the slab click the wall click the slab click the wall etc around and voila there we have it then all you have to do is join the the lower wall to the upper wall join Right. So we have a seamless finish, we have the slab in the right place, and we have the structural layer of the wall in the right place, and all will report in quantities and so on the correct way. So this is, I think this is the answer to your question, Fuiz. If I haven't got it right, please let me know. Well, that's it. Now, I made this video specifically, as I said, for the lads over in Telegram and the, the group chat, the TGIT Revit uh, channel chat. Uh, some questions bouncing around so i said i'd make a video i think it might have some obviously some application for others so i hope you found it useful uh the thing you know the subscribe if you haven't already appreciate that 
And uh, listen, like the video, get in touch, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you.